Hi, I'm Desvers and I do stuff. And this is Loki, he sits in my lap. <laughs> and today I wanted to show you an interesting way of thinking about game physics, namely Verlet integration, uh, which is mainly used in soft body simulations like cloth or rope. And many new game developers may not know about it, but I think it's interesting. So, first, take a sip of coffee. For some time I wanted to try out uh, some visualization with uh, my graphic tablet. In meantime you can enjoy my terrible drawing skills. I have to say that my physics knowledge is limited and uh, Initially I learned about Verlet integration uh, thanks to YouTube channel Coding Math. Also there's an awesome channel called The Coding Train, where I learn a lot of uh, neat uh, coding tricks. Verlet integration is special because it doesn't carry a variable for velocity, instead uh, it carries variable for previous position and using that we can calculate uh, a lot of stuff so let's uh, imagine we have a particle with its position and we carry um, its previous position we can calculate easily calculate uh, the velocity by um, comparing uh, the differ difference uh, between the both positions, so it would be position mean minus previous position. And also this uh, concept kind of opened my mind uh, when I started uh, making uh, games, because this one is also useful for finding uh, direction, not only the length of distance. So to calculate where should be the next position, the new position, uh, we can do something like uh, calculate uh, the current velocity, uh, it would be like or position minus position previous and we can use that for um, position new uh, like velocity we can um, use dampening for a uh, value or dam dampening we can add something like gravity gravity you can do a lot of stuff and you can find in that way you can find the new position position new Verlet integration calculation has uh, two stages first one is to calculate a velocity for each particle and then there is a constraint stage of calculation which has uh, influence from other objects like in this rope situation all particles need to be in certain distance from each other like it's d1 and d2 because i'm showing you a rope uh, example we don't need uh, fancy data structure for representing uh, needed information and we can just use an array for each particle their positions and their previous positions in situations like uh, creating rigid uh, bodies like box or in soft bodies like uh, cloth you would have something like um, Let's have a terrible drawing. Uh, you would create a mesh of particles, like each particle is in these, these cross sections. And in those situations you would need uh, to create uh, more sof sophisticated uh, dat data structures to carry information relationships between 
particles like this particle need to know this uh, uh, distance this distance or this particle needs needs this one and for each you have like for distance you can think about that yourself later or uh, check out uh, coding math or coding train channels they're really awesome uh, information for this but let's look at our rope situation it, it's more simpler uh, to grasp the idea because i'm showing uh, the example of rope physics we also need other particles part of the rope like that would be like a particle new one this would be two and there would be like particle new three they, they all are calculating the, their own values but Verlet integration excels in that it takes in account some constraints from other object influence. Because of that, in rope physics, we have like a um, certain distance between particles. We can, okay, let's say distance, one and two. And doing uh, Verlet integration calculations, we have two stages. First one is uh, to calculate uh, the new position. It goes through through all particles for each and then we need to calculate the uh, constraint it's like the second stage of uh, calculation in rope example we have calculated uh, all new positions for each particle and they have ended up in positions like this with um, let's say distance of Two and distance of six but uh, we have said that we need distance to be four so distance should be like four and this would be like distance one distance two so in this constraint part of calculation we need to calculate how to move our particles so the distance between them would end up four so, like in this situation, uh, where our distance is smaller than we need, so we can calculate difference like diff is um, our d minus d1, we get uh, 2. So that means we need to increase this uh, distance by 2. And because we have two particles and we need to push this by one and this by one. In case of this one, or let's say diff one and diff two would be like difference minus difference two and we end up uh, minus two. So that means half of that yeah, well, let's, let's show that, that we need half of that. Uh, that means then when we calculate this um, correction, we need to move this one, one, and this one in that direction, one, closer. And we would end up in far, far. And this kind of <laughs> is an uh, interesting part of Verlet uh, that, that's creating a rubbery feel for me because we calculated this one, then we calculate this one because the next one is again moving the middle one. This difference is actually not four anymore. Like it would be ending uh, because moving one in that slider that would make it uh, like five but you can search the information yourself later but this is uh, the one approach of uh, verlet integration calculation to show verlet integration in practice i created an example project uh, quite a while ago here is uh, main scene uh, prop scene which consists of uh, no 2d which 
I call the string. And child of it is a line 2D to draw uh, that line. In code we have exported uh, variables for rope length. Uh, constraint is the length between each point. Uh, gravity, friction, which you can name. Let's let's change that to so that's dampening force. Start pin, uh, meaning that uh, first point is pinned down, and the same for end pin. I'm referencing line 2D, so I don't call dollar sign line 2D every time when I need to draw the line. And these are the variables that carry a rope. Position, pull vector array for holding current positions and the same for previous positions. Uh, I chose pull vector to the to vector 2 array because it's more specialized for vector 2 and it's needed for line 2D. But working with it, it doesn't change anything as working with a normal array. And we need point count, how many points we have in the rope. So on the start, to calculate how many points there are in the rope, I gave a little calculation from rope length and uh, divide it by constraint, the distance between points. And then I resize uh, the array for all points and previous positions, position and previous position resized. And then in ready I do init positions. Uh, I just uh, order them just increase the position by constraint amount to the right. You can easily read the code. I try to keep it uh, as readable as pos possible and some comments. I used uh, unhandled input is controlling the position of pinned uh, first point and right mouse click for the last point. And in the process I update the points uh, to their new positions. I wrote a little comment to make it more e easier to read. So don't iterate if the point is first or last, unless the first is not pinned or the last is not pinned. So as I showed in drawing, we calculate velocity by um, current position, subtract previous position and multiply all that with dampening and save our current position to our previous position add to our current position uh, velocity and gravity and I'm multiplying this, uh, gravity with delta to, to make it more uh, frame rate independent. The next is constraint stage and here it's a bit wordy but um, let's try to make some sense of it. So I'm iterating through each point in the position arrays and here I'm calculating the distance, distance from current position to other po next point position, calculate the difference, it's uh, the needed po constraint distance and uh, actual distance, getting the percentage of difference, then calculate the vector to difference from current point and the next point. Let's check uh, skip the first and last. So this is the part we are checking all the rest points, uh, skipping the first and last. And this is check for if this point is, uh, or our next point will be the last point and it's pinned, then the situation is that we are changing only the second to last point uh, because the last one is pinned and we can't move that but we need to keep our constraint. But in all the rest uh, situations, uh, all the middle points, they calculate the move, the mm, 
move themselves uh, half the difference and the next point is get is is moved by the half the difference and there's so in the first point situation we just uh, do the same uh, unless uh, the first point is pinned and because the last point doesn't have any next point we skipping it this is basically the all the rope logic and you can experiment with that with it uh, yourself or learn learn more of uh, verlet integration with coding math channel or coding train and make something more awesome but uh, the source of this project is available and you can check it out so I, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.